Hey guys, Tanner Larson here from Build Grow Scale, another morning car video. So first of all, just real quick, it's not always rainbows and sunshine. I want to tell you real quick how a yesterday was you know supposed to be an awesome day. I was really excited. We hired a new video guy at the office and it was just gonna be awesome. Walk in there, oh we have our tech problems, we have fly problems. All of a sudden flies are in the office so bad. I don't know where they're coming from, that we can't get anything done and I have to make trips to Home Depot to try to find fly killers. So we've got uh, fly paper, like bright colored fly paper hanging all over our office trying to kill flies. Okay, so, you know, the whole glamorous, you know, internet marketing lifestyle where you're working in these beautiful offices and stuff. Well, that's not the case right now. <laughs> I'm driving to an office right now full of fly paper. But anyway, side note back to what I actually wanted to tell you today and that is I wanted to give you a little tip real quick thing that you can do that is worth about 1200 percent increase in ROI from our email and customer lists okay and it's something that most people don't do but it's and it's because it's kind of a pain to do but it's very important okay so I also wanted to I wanted to dispel this myth that your e-commerce list or your customer list or your email list is worth on average of about a dollar per subscriber People have been touting that for years that your email list is worth a dollar per subscriber. Well, that's bullshit. Okay, most people's email lists are worth way less than a dollar per subscriber. And some people's are worth way more than a dollar per subscriber. On average, in the e-commerce space, a email list, a customer email list, is worth about 20 cents per subscriber. Okay? 20 cents per subscriber not anywhere near a dollar all right now if you have a big list and you're mailing them that's still some you can still make some good money there but the way you get that up to where it is worth a dollar or three dollars or as high as I've seen as high as nine dollars per subscriber is through granular segmentation okay segmenting segmenting your audience down into categories groups based on buying habits spending habits products purchased lifetime value uh, Custom, position in the customer life cycle, all these different things can be segments in both your email list, your customer mailing list, all of it. All right, and what this does is it allows you to better target promotions. So instead of doing blanket promotions where you're just, you know, mailing one mass promotion to everybody, segmenting allows you to customize and design very targeted specific promotions that speak to each one of those different segments. Okay, so on any given day in our businesses, we may have uh, through, the, through our automated follow-up campaigns and things like that in our email, we may have 10 or 12 different types of promotions running at the same time, each going to a different customer segment or even a prospect segment. Um, and it may, each, seg each of these segments may not be huge. You know, some of these segments may only have a few hundred to a few thousand people in them, while other segments may have 10, 20,000 or whatever. But that's okay. Just because it's a small segment doesn't mean it's not going to be profitable have an extremely high return on you know advertising dollar so we may have 10 to 12 of these different campaigns going out automatically based on where these customers are at in the life cycle where they're at in terms of what they purchase have they purchased product a product b and product c well have we shown them d or e or you know people who purchase product b have a high propensity to also purchase uh, bundle Z. Well, let's make sure we promote bundle Z to them. That's all handled automatically on the back end. But none of that is possible if you don't segment and start segmenting right away. And if you haven't been segmenting, go backwards, create those segments, set up the rules, the automation to make segmenting an automatic thing in your business so that based on the customer's actions, they're placed in these different segments. Now, one customer may show up in three or four different segments. That's okay. You have to set up some uh, rule-based systems there that would weight which segment is more important to get the promotion first. And then you just kind of get this promotion that is, is, is weighted one, this promotion is weighted two, and three, and so forth, to make sure that you're not bombarding them with three promotions at the same time. Also, customers may leave one segment and move completely into a new segment. That's okay as well. It's all part of how the customer transitions through your business, through the life cycle of the customer, customer's journey, basically, with your business. So these different segments are critical to allowing you to really, really boost the effectiveness of both your email and your direct mail, any kind of customer interactive marketing, including your retargeting lists and even the different customer lists you have on Facebook. Why one, one excuse me, 
run one blanket Facebook campaign when you could run a lot of micro targeted campaigns based on their exact buying habits, okay? So granular segmentation is the secret to us taking our customer lists and increasing their ROI by about 1200% on average. And it's the secret to getting that email list or that customer list that's actually worth a dollar or more per subscriber, okay? But if you're not doing that, I can almost guarantee you your list is 20 cents per subscriber or less. So not a bad pl not a bad thing, but ideally not the best thing either, right? So let's work on some segmentation in your business, see what you can do, and start setting up those targeted campaigns that market specifically to each of those segments. All right, guys, pull into the office here. Catch you later.